Attenzione, rispettare i limiti di velocità. I think he just told me to watch the speed. He went, attenzione. And then I heard respecta, which means please respect the speed limit. No drinking and driving. I completely agree. Best thing ever, ice cubes. <laughs> Respected a speed limiter. <laughs> nice view down here, though. It's not bad now, homie. It's like 20, I think. Quite nice. I'm not even sure this is going to haul, you know. It seems to have a problem putting the power down. I might just lift the axle because I think it works a bit better. I think it has a tendency to wheelie the, the truck with the axle up or uh, down. What could possibly go wrong? Wheel slip. Touch you go. Not bad with the propellers not even spinning. You said the propeller was fixed. <laughs> Oh yeah, it definitely saves fuel. I don't know, hello. I feel like we're still getting wheels up though. Chew through the fuel. Would you ever go back to the Scania Test Drive Centre? Uh, I don't know how you get an invite, to be honest. I'd like to.
Attenzione. Rispettare i limiti di velocità. Attenzione. That's a nice view. Toddle Toddlito. Thank you for 30 months. 2KS, welcome back. Blah, thank you for almost three years, sir. Wow, that van tailgating a bit. What am I driving? Um, I think top end of Russia, heading down to Finland. Uscire adesso. See where we are. West of Kirken. Why does Italian sound cool? It just flows as a language. A destra. It's like probably like to listen to it, probably the most beautiful language in that it just rolls fluently. Prepararsi a voltare a sinistra. Yeah, like it it sounds yeah, you're right, it's got a melody. It sounds musical. Even without it being music, it just sounds like it's got this rhythm to it. It's weird. Is that a Renault? Yup. I think it sounds bland. I'm not sure it sounds bland. Uh, welcome back. B00 Boo Boo, is it? Boo Boo 42? You hate Spanish? Um, I don't hate Spanish. It's... The thing is about Spanish is... I don't know how efficient it is because it sounds like... It sounds like they don't take a breath when they say it. Like, it just sounds like it... I remember going on holiday and listening to Spanish cleaners. And they're just motor mouth. But I'm not sure how much they're saying to each other. It's just... Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> this crazy language. Chinese is really fast. I don't know. I I've, I don't know nothing about Chinese. You know, hola and gracias. I know billeta de bingo, bingo ticket. <laughs> I learned that by going on holiday when I was 16 and sitting there getting drunk and playing bingo at the uh, hotel because it seemed like a good idea. You know, the tall reps come around, who wants to play bingo? Yeah. 
and me and my mate were trying to learn Spanish. Like, the thing is, the Spanish waiters, like, they love it when you try to learn their language. So they, they help you out. And that's why they kept saying, like, oh, this is a billete de bingo. Oh, okay. And this is a sinicero, I think it was. That was the ashtray on the table. That's a sinicero. Right, okay. And and how do we say glasses? Uh, there's, like, two words for glasses, I, I seem to remember. But if you want to order, like, like a glass of beer, it's... What was it? Dos Basos? Dos Basos de Bier or something like that. And that means two glasses of beer. You got drunk at 16. Dude, you're on holiday in Spain. <laughs> of course you're going to get drunk. <laughs> yeah, Dos Basos de, de Cerveza. How do you say that? Cerveza. That's the other thing I can't get my head around with Spanish. Is the way they say it, that Cerveza. A lot of the words, you have to put your tongue between your teeth and go Cerveza. <laughs> cerveza. It's not pronounced Cerbasa at all. It's not, dude. Uh, Bjarne Nelson, thank you for 42 months. If you actually listen to a Spanish say it though, they don't say it like that. They don't say cerveza, they say it with a th that kind of way of saying it that is hard to get. Spanish around the world is vastly different. Oh, yeah. Very different. Yeah. Hey, on 9 Andy. Andy, how you doing? The Lisp is particularly Castilian. Yeah. Yeah, certainly from sort of the Barcelona area, as you say. It is definitely stronger. I'm sure it's like in the UK you get dialects of the language accents and stuff. I'm sure you get that all around Spain. You do PC. Uh, Doc Norris, what did you get? So you speak a British accent down here. Difference is just different. Dragon Hero, huh? I'm excited for Transport Fever 2. It looks like it's shaping up to be a good game. I'll definitely take a look at it. What are we driving? Renault Range T in NVIDIA Green. Modular stations, yeah, they can be fun. Uh, yes, I've seen Alaskan trucks in. I don't know. I kind of feel like there's on the road, 
Alaskan Truck Sim, and what's the other one? I, I think they're going to end up to be throwaway games, but we'll see. Truck driver, yeah. I think the, the people who are making them are trying to make a game that is like Euro Truck Sim, but sufficiently different and runs on console. And they're trying to hit that market. They're trying to capture the people who, on console especially, who want a truck simulator and SCS is not giving it to them. I seven eight seven hundred nine seven GTX. Nice, I should do you well. Oh my life! The heck was that? That's so bizarre. Look from this any angle, it's fine. That's so weird. I'm scared. <laughs> the Dementors are coming. I said, don't know if yeah, you'll be able to play some like games, some good games on that, on that spec, decent spec. Game developers are going to make Raw an open world game with trucking can't be much more. Yeah, I've seen that. Identity Take Two. Attenzione, rispettare i limiti di velocità. It's like saying we're going to make the game to end all games. Yeah, good luck with that. Yes, I did, Chris. Update Jazzy Cat for the latest stuff. On the road has gone awful. Yeah, I the last time I tried it, and admittedly that was sometime last year. I I think I played it for five minutes and uninstalled it, and that's why I don't really have much hope for it, to be honest. Uscire adesso. Yeah, I just raw for my video. <laughs> And PC walk them on the road. Whiteland was hyped for identity. I think Whiteland, Dre, Captain Jack, myself, we were all like, oh my god, I don't care how long it takes, just make a great game. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. That taught me to be super cautious about kickstarting games. And that's why I look at this raw game and I'm looking at it going, yeah, that, that's pretty much the same promises that Identity made, so I'm just going to take a back seat and see what happens. We can all We can all come up with, like, dream ideas for games, but executing that is a bit different. Like, Identity, myself included, dropped a lot of money on that game. And what return did we get? Absolutely nothing. Years later, they give you, like, a town hall area to walk around. Wow. Uh, you found out, Cousy, that Jazzicat is a thief, always stealing others' content and claiming it for himself and putting into ETS2 mod packs. Personally, I feel reusing other stuff is fine, so long as you give them credit. Um, I have no idea, Cousy, if he's stealing other people's stuff or not. I really don't know. That's the first I've heard of that. 
I personally think he would be massively called out on that if he did. But... Like, his mods have been going for a long, long time. Why would he start stealing now? I don't know. Dead stick, I can't wait for dead stick. I keep pestering the guy to let me um let me do a preview video, but he's uh he's not taking the bait. <laughs> I'm like, Chris, let me make it. <laughs> let me let me record a video. I'm not sure, Bagel. I'm not sure which one you mean, though. No. This area is just water, trees. It's great. I need to have on 2019. Yeah, I don't know if I want to get into that, you know. A ghost ghost recon breakpoint um, definitely looks like something I want to play. Definitely. That looks like a lot of fun. This cat's models and his mods different a lot model to model. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, the mod community would be all over him if he tried to do that. But we'll see. It could just be somebody trying to start a rumour. Nah, I didn't bother with Ghost Recon 2. I thought that truck was on my side of the road. <clears throat> How many hours in ETS2? On Steam... 1,794. Maybe a couple of hundred before Steam. So, probably aggregate about 2,000. Respectare the speedo limito. Okay, senor. Alla rotatoria, prendere la prima uscita. Yeah, but Jen's as if anybody reads the FAQ. I mean, I get asked questions about stuff that's in the title and on the screen. <laughs> like when I was when I was flying on Friday, was it? And people going, why why are you what what flight sim is this? You know, like it's literally in the title, X plane eleven. You know. I've had things on the screen, like I've I've previewed pro mods and stuff like that, and on the screen it says there is currently no release date for pro mods, and in the chat you get, when's pro mods releasing? You're like, oh, oh. what time is it for you, there, squirrel? Um, I don't know. It might be on the screen though. <laughs> He's just like, put something in an FAQ. Good luck with that. 
uscire adesso. How much does X plane cost? Why don't you go to Steam and have a look? <laughs> have you ever thought about that? Just go on Steam. X plane them. Oh look, there's the price. Or you could go to the website and buy it directly from X plane. Just saying. People who ask how much is something that's on okay. Steam, I don't get it. Like you've got Steam. Have a look. I have never in my life gone into a stream and said, how much is that game? Because <laughs> the first thing I do is open a tab and have a look. Blows my mind. You would if you had Steam. Well, go to the x -Plane website then. Go and have a look. Okay, are you going to respond? No. Let's put it in low. There we go. You don't need, you just go to the X-Plan website. Anybody can do that. Well, D-Beams, I challenge you to get asked the same question time and time and time again and not point out that people can do stuff like that for themselves, you know? Attenzione. Just saying. Rispettare i limiti di velocità. Attenzione. Rispettare i limiti di velocità. You think everything's on sale? Not everything. <clears throat> like... I'd like to get, for example, the TBM 900 plane, but that's not on sale, even though X Aviation have got a sight on. Most of them are asking the price for somebody to see if anyone knows of codes being out there, see if they can get it cheaper. Well, here's the thing. Top Cat, um, that's a complex question. Like, if you want to just go and get the code to get it the cheapest, that's not necessarily going to support the developer. That's a whole... If you want to go and read up, for example, on the whole G2A debacle, and the fact that developers are saying, please pirate our game rather than buy it from G2A, yeah? They're literally saying that. There's a massive petition. That's the kind of problem that exists in the gaming industry. So, yes, you might be able to find it cheaper somewhere else, but you're actually going to hurt the developers doing that. So the only people I support are Games Planet because they, they only use legit keys. So I'm not about to tell you to go anywhere else. You can have a look on Steam. You can have a look on Games Planet. Beyond that, that's up to you. Yeah, have you not read about all this, Neil Lynch? There's like a petition that one of the indies started... The, the, the G2A is all over the news right now, again. Yeah, they're all over the news again because, you know, they're coming out trying to defend themselves, saying, oh, well, if indie developers can prove, if indie developers can prove that their keys have been stolen, then we'll refund them ten times the cost of the key. Like, the word being, they can prove, as if indies are going to sit there and spend a load of time chasing up sales of their own keys to make sure they're definitely legit ones it's just ridiculous but developers indie developers get really badly hurt when they get chargebacks they can't afford the chargebacks so there's like if you go on twitter there's quite a few indie developers have started up a petition to get their games taken off g2a because they would rather you pirate the game they've literally said we would rather you pirate our game than buy the key from a grey market site like G2A. That's what they're saying. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So every time you buy a key, chances are you're hurting a dev. Buy games from Games Planet, link in description. Lol, <laughs> white then, thank you. So yeah, um, I, I left G2A a long time ago, and since then I've worked with Games Planet, and they only use keys that come direct from publishers and developers. 
Uh, I believe, I believe Green Man Gaming is okay as well. I believe they're legit as well. Um, but obviously I work with Games Planet, so they're the ones that I um, promote. But yeah, just coming back to the original point, just asking for the cheapest key is not the solution to the problem. Uh, with X plane, with X plane, just go and get it direct from Laminar. Get it direct from Laminar. That way, they get the most money. There's nobody like Steam taking a cut. So they get the most money out of it. Support the developers, and you'll have yourself a game. Is there any proof to show that they're legitimate? Uh, this is this is part. If you're on about G2A's challenge, go and have a look. I mean, just go on YouTube. There's like videos that will summarize it for you. Um, it, it's ridiculous. Like G2A asking developers to prove that you know keys have keys have been bought bought by a G2A's platform are fraudulent. Like, how can they? How can an indie prove that? That's so hard, and they know it. Yeah, I mean, if you buy X Plane from Steam, right, then it's still a legitimate purchase. That's absolutely fine. I'm just saying, if you were going to go and buy it today, consider getting it direct from X Plane. Because that way there's no cuts. It's the same with DCS World, eh? If you want to buy stuff from DCS, I know it's free to play, but you buy the planes and stuff. You want to buy, di buy direct from. Uh, from their website rather than get it via Steam because Valve's taking a 30% cut. Not that I've got anything against Valve, it's just that if you can help out a smaller developer like that, why wouldn't you? Because all it does in Steam anyway with DCS is it kicks off the DCS installer. So you just, like, you might as well just have the installer. You do get updates faster, that is true. I mean, in terms of DCS, it's actually better. It's better to get it direct. How can you know if a site is legit or not like G2i? Generally... Generally, the problem the problem resides around G2... As somebody explained in a video, G2A is like eBay in the... It sells... It's a marketplace that sells all kinds of things on eBay. G2A sells all kinds of game keys. And just like eBay, stuff that's sold on the platform has a dubious source. You can buy some... You can buy like a laptop on eBay and it's been stolen. How do you know? That's the thing. Because it's a marketplace, people sell stuff on the marketplace and not everybody's selling legit stuff. Games Planet is not a marketplace. Green Man Gaming, I don't think, is a marketplace. But that's the thing. You need to look if it's a marketplace or not. If it's a marketplace, then there's going to be stuff on it that is not legit. If it's a... As Whiteland says, if it's a store where you buy keys from directly from publishers and developers, then you're fine. That's the difference. Like G2A, Kinguin, I think, they're all people that are marketplace type people. Ag the best, if you've got developers turning around saying pirate our game rather than buy it on G2A, I think that says all you need to know. I'm just going to nip to the bathroom one sec.
I'm back. Uh, Mr. Lupo, thank you for 11 months. Good evening. Hope you had a good day. Not bad, Mr. Lupo. Thank you. Even got on my summer car. Started today. Dorset! 20 months. Welcome back, Dorset. The Topster, thank you very much for subbing. Welcome to the house, Topster. Wow, that weather. Right, see what jobs are available. I've heard, Mr. Dorset, that you're down in Cyprus. Ugh. That's a nice drive down that way. <laughs> now I've got a job back to Svalbard. External contracts, muffins. Problem with external contracts is they're always just plain old vanilla trailers, so I'm a bit meh. Um, Adele Droll, thank you for the sub bomb. Adele Droll, gifted five subs. What a boss. If you just got gifted a sub, please thank Mr. Adele Droll. Thank you for your support, sir. Oh boy, did that right? And yeah. Getting into this. Is it from here or is it from somewhere else? Oh, it's got a green one. Take the green. That trailer's probably going to get in the way. Uh, Mr. Capstad. Also being a boss, like a Daldrill. Five subs gifted from Mr. Capstead. Please remember to give him a thank you. Thank you so much. We need to take it Norway and pick up a truck. A white and what? I'm taking a green trailer with a green truck. that rain I might have to turn his audio up because his audio is a bit quieter to the nut house 
It does sound a bit shifty. Turn right. The voice actor for Witcher. It does sound a bit like the Witcher guy. I always thought that voice was a bit weird. Oh my life, another what's going on? Group PR. Group PR with the sub bomb of five. Well, thank you very much, Group PR. Please remember to give him a thank you if you just got a sub. You lucky new subs who've just uh, been given a sub. Don't forget, you can still apply to join the convoy. Get your application in. Convoy's in two weeks. 13 days time, the convoy is. But you need to get your application in this week. To the house. Chris94, no. <laughs> started something here. Chris94 has gifted five subs. Thank you very much guys. Crazy. You guys crazy. Yeah, just remember to give a thank you to whoever gifted you a sub. It's very kind. Thank you, Chris. The voice is the voice of Geralt of Rivia. What's Geralt of Rivia? Do I play ATS? I do, not as much as ETS. Oh, the Witcher, gotcha. Still don't know who made that Asus Me account though. <laughs> Neither do I. Enjoy the Morgan Freeman now voice. Does it sound authentic though, Gigabyte? Uh, I'm sorry, a down draw. I think it's scrolled off the screen. Whiteland's gifted us up to Asus Rog Whiteland. There you go. A down draw. Paul, I think I might have started a sub train. I think you did. A down draw. Three more sub bombs followed yours. I have to give it a try then. Nah, I don't. I don't join VTCs. Oh yeah, that's right for it. Yeah, if Rome, yeah, it's for ATS only, isn't it? Why can't somebody convert it for ETS2? I missed Devil Dude's one. I literally can't see that one. Let's see if I can find it. Can't find it. No, I can't find it. I'm sorry. It's somewhere in the list. Oh boy. I don't know how I just managed. I pressed the home key on my keyboard and it somehow. <laughs> it somehow changed the scene on OBS. <laughs> That's so bizarre. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Yep, 
Yeah, I've, I've missed those other bits. They've gone off the screen somewhere. I apologise. Well, that's not on that one. Get ready to turn left. No, they're not on that one. Devil Dude gifted a sub to Jersey. Welcome back, Jersey. Thank you, Devil Dude. Turn left. Fly a kite, okay. Enjoy. Hey, Enceladus, how you doing? I can't remember the last time I ever flew a kite, Connor. <laughs> Genesis Walker Bank. At the roundabout, take the second exit. Exit now. The only trouble with this rain mod is the side windows, you can hardly see the mirrors at all. Yeah, yeah, ProMods has been working on 135 for a couple of weeks. 2.41. Sub bomb from the Curious Orange. Thank you very much, Curious Orange. Five subs gifted. What a star. Thank you so much. Five lucky subs. If you just got gifted, please remember to thank him. Thank you, Mr. Orange, sir. Man, these driving conditions are horrendous. Uh, Stan PC, have a good one, sir. sentient bot has gifted five subs thank you very much from again if you just got gifted a sub from sentient bot thank you sir another five subs you guys crazy I think that's like 30 subs gifted in the last 20 minutes or so is uh, very very generous this is normally a very nice journey down here like lovely coastal views and stuff not with this weather
It's an English one, yeah. I think it's starting to dry up. Whew. That was some nutty weather. Can I bend GT? Is it just uh, watch ads for bits has never worked? It used to work. Uh, Cuzzy, it's a mod. A uh, heavy rain mod, I think it's called. Yeah, I need to do that, Captain Flint. I need to, do, I need to probably map this button here and go up and down on the speed. Oh, the creepy yawn mod, I forgot about that. Group here yeah, already gifted five subs, and I think he just gifted another. How many is that? Ten? Ten subs, group here? Yeah, on top of the five that he already gifted? <laughs> oh my god. Thank you for being awesome, group here. Yeah. Guys, ten, 10 subs gifted. Please remember to thank him. It's epic support. Welcome to the not epic house. support. 20 total, bro. What a boss. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'll say it again. If you just got gifted a sub, apply to the convoy. You might as well. You might as well join the convoy. Yeah, that's the one, Chippy. Realistic Deep Rain, breath. Old Heavy Rain. Yeah, I think he caught, he changed the name to Realistic Rain. But that's the one. I think it's in Steam. I think that's where I got it from. I do like it when they're on Steam. Can you just subscribe to it and it updates automatically? It's just so much easier. Spreadsheet says no, Cool Tiger. Well, you can hashtag blame Mutley, because it definitely is on Steam. To the nut house. No problem, Jeff Gate. Police chasing a motorcycle outside my apartment right now. Crashed in a car. Now the police and ambulance at the scene. Oh dear. Who crashed the motorcycle or the police car? Yeah, I'm going to try and get it working for next week, Chris. Because it's like not a simple... It's not a simple install for that thing. The motorcycle crashed into another car. You see, the, the report now that those police are going to have to write up.
night unicorn just be patient and hopefully when subs are gifted you'll be one of them but don't ask to be a sub like don't ask for people to gift or or, the, or do that kind of oh, i wish i was a sub thing it's just if it happens it happens mate you can't change it just by saying things like that Thanks, DHL. Great bit of driving, DHL. Couriers, exactly. Flipping couriers. What happened to your golden acorn? Uh, it's just left EV name though, Nordic. like 2 a.m. and it's still daylight it's just insane uh relegal 42 months thank you sir look at that 2 a.m. and it's still completely bright still ongoing near lunch it's ridiculous He's turning off. Go straight. Caution. You're exceeding the speed limit. <laughs> as if. As if that voice. Caution. You're exceeding the speed limit. <laughs> it's just like, can you put more cheese on that? Good night, Mark Sterling. At the roundabout, take the second exit. At the roundabout, install Witcher 3. Exit now. You like cheese, far enough. <laughs> yeah, my throat is raspy. <laughs> I sound like I need to drink some water. <laughs> Keep right. Robots drink. I don't think so. I 
Uh, yeah, this is definitely going to be the final delivery. Absolutely. Why would a robot drink oil? I don't understand. ETA 8 a.m. That means before we get there, the sun's going to rise. This is more Ghost Dirty Street. Harry than Witcher 3. It's weird. It's like Dirty Harry, but without all the punk. You've got 12 hours of my summer car streams to watch, Connor. What, from yesterday and today? The good thing is, you know that we go from nothing to full car build. But along the way it can be interesting, I will say that. That wiring though, that, that was like the most annoying thing ever. You're British, you should have the stick on the left and not on the right. <laughs> right, okay. Which side of the truck am I sat on? Oh, that's not the point, okay. Well, I drive an automatic anyway, so I don't have a stick. In fact, my stick is on the wheel. I have paddle shift and, auto and a stick on the wheel, on my car. At the roundabout, take the second exit. These guys making me stop. Outrageous. Wow, that's a URL. Exit now. If you're going to post a URL, Hello, can you like shorten it please? And then it doesn't take up a, like a big chunk of space in chat. Let me move over. How do you get the voice installed for GPS? Uh, you you just install it like any other mod, like put it in your mod list and then go to options audio and it'll appear in the drop down list of GPS voice pack. Oh look, the sun's come up. <laughs> Amazing. 
go straight. I'm not aiming for any number of convoys per year, Connor. They take a lot of organization, so we just do them when... Like, you need to have a sufficient gap between them, plus they need to be booked in with, like, the truckers' MP team a long time in advance, and then my team needs to plan everything. You know, it's, it's a lot of effort putting a convoy together. So we basically don't do it too often. <laughs> because it's such a huge amount of effort. We normally try to aim to do one for um, yachts, one in summer, one around Christmas time, and then if you get another one, it's a bonus. Yeah, Christmas one's good. I figured this summer one would be good as well. I think the Christmas one is more attended because the thing about the summer one is although people are like, they're off, quite often they've gone somewhere, you know, because it's summer. Whereas in winter, people tend to take the time off and stay home because it's it's not great outside, right? So you get more people at the Christmas one than the summer one, I think, for that reason. Storm Chaser, have a look in the mod spreadsheet. Seatbelts on your gaming seat. Nope. I'm not actually moving in my seat. I'm not moving, so therefore I don't need a seatbelt. I'm at no risk of having an accident, a crash <laughs> in my gaming chair, I don't think. Well, it's not happened so far, SK. We've been doing this for a few years, so I think we're good. Exit now. You buy the wheels separate for your chair. So, the chair comes with wheels, but I buy the locking caster wheels. Which are like, I think they're £10 from GT Omega. 
and they're pretty handy for driving games or any or even flying games in fact anything where you need to push your feet on pedals um, to stop you going backwards you can lock the casters down go straight well if you do buy them if you use the code SQRL it gets you five percent off wheel's a bit small. I'm not really sure. I mean, what, what size wheels are you after? Roundabout. Take the first exit. Oh, this is not exactly exit convenient. Now. I indicated, bro. It's your fault. I was indicating all along that road and that guy was like, nope, 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 nope. Okay, we'll do it my way. Yep. Thanks. How many years do you think until they add DX12? DX12 has a massive issue in that if they went to DX12, then nobody from Windows underneath Windows 8, I don't think, is it Windows 7, doesn't have 12 on it? I think you have to be on 8 and 10, I think, or is it just 10? I can't remember. I think, is it 8 or 10 where you have to, where DX12 comes in? Is it just 10? Right, so that you see that's why it's, it's a commercial decision isn't it? If they went to DX12 everybody would have to have Windows 10 to play this game which let's face it a lot of people are still on 7, still on 8 suddenly they can't play the game anymore now, I'm sure, I'm pretty sure, that their game is going to be telling, is going to be giving them some basic telemetry about who's playing it, yeah? Every time it connects to World of Trucks account, it's probably going, yep, this guy's on Windows 10, he's got an i7, blah, blah, blah. Like, just basic metrics, and they're going to look at that and go, well, you know, 50% of our audience is on Windows 10, 50% is on something else. I don't know what the numbers are, but they're going to look at the numbers and say, we can't go to DX12 because we're going to lose a massive chunk of our of our um, customers. So it's going to be a decision based on, on those percentages changing over time. DX11 can have all the features DX12 does. DX12 is more low level and more efficient. I think they made the right decision to go to 11 ultimately. I don't think 12 is the right choice, and it won't be for a few years. Based on Steam stats, 70% are on Windows 10. Teddy bear. Right, fair enough. So, I guess they'd be chopping off 30% of their customers. That's probably too much. Maybe when that gets under 10%, they'll be like, yeah, let's go to 12 now. Yeah, but pretty soon, Homey Live, it's going to be the case where you won't be able to run on 9. Like, at the moment, it's experimental, but as more and more mods get ported for 11, I kind of see it becoming mandatory pretty soon. Yeah, DX11 does run better. It's, it's still got a few issues, but they're getting ironed out.
Well, I have all my amateur services locked out anyway, Raven, so that's not really relevant. I believe, Raven, the reason they want you on 10 is because then they've, you've got access to the Windows Store and you can play games on Xbox and PC. I think that's the real reason they want you on 10. Not necessarily because they want the telemetry, because that can be stopped anyway. It's all about the Windows Store and it's all about, you know, Xbox and PC games and that kind of thing. I don't think most people do use the Windows Store. Go straight. You don't see the Renault logo. I don't use the Windows Store, I don't use the Edge browser, <laughs> I don't use Skype, and all of those things get forced down your throat when you install Windows 10. First thing I did was uninstall Skype, get rid of Edge, change my default browser, and then install, um, install the tool to root, stop all the telemetry data. And then Windows 10 is nice. <laughs> don't use their cloud storage. Um, I have the Office subscription, Office 365, which gives me the OneDrive. So I have that, but I don't I don't get it for OneDrive, I get it for the Office subscription. Cannot live with a system that reboots the PC without my consent. Um, you can, you can, um, Captain Flint. You can basically change. Windows 10 Pro has more control over that than Home. With 10, with 10 Pro, you can significantly delay it installing stuff and control when it reboots it. But eventually, I mean, to be fair, security updates. Some of some security updates like need to be applied. Like your PC is just vulnerable, so. It's only right that they should force them on there. Uh, Spaniel Ears. <laughs> Good name. Welcome to the Nighthouse Spaniel Ears. Thank you very much for the nifty welcome, Henry. No, you can delay updates for three months on Windows 10. That's what I do. Seven days now. Nah. You, I think there's like I can't remember now how I did it. There's like a register change. I think. I think it's a register change that you have to have to make to get it so that it delays it by three months. Go straight. Go straight.
Glad you're enjoying it out the base. Turn right. Turn right. Yeah, I'm not. I don't about home. I don't think you can do it as much on home as pro. But I don't buy home anyway. I always buy pro. Oh, Vista. How could you get Vista? Ugh. At the roundabout, take the second exit. Vesta was a mess. Exit now. Turn right. Gone to the shop. <laughs> Where do these names come from? Spaniel is and gone to the shop. Thank you for subbing. Gone to the shop. Welcome to the net house. Thank you for the nutty welcome. Twitch name was Yeetos and Fries. <laughs> yeah, Windows 8.1's alright, but I like 10 personally. We've got urgent delivery bonuses on that one. Noise. And that, as they say, is that. You got a bonus 30 minutes for Sunday Night Trucking this evening. You had four hours of my summer car, followed by five and a half hours of trucking. Four and a half hours of trucking. Yeah. Not bad, not bad. I'm forgetting something, Blizzard Rail. What am I forgetting, sir? Oh, you want me to... You really want me to wreck that, Renault? You really want me to wreck that? For real? You guys are brutal. Absolutely brutal. The last time I did this, it fell through the floor. Jeez. All right. Here we go. I think the factory swallowed it. <laughs> oh boy. Thank you for watching. <laughs> I hope you had fun. Have a great week, guys. Thank you for your support as ever. Thanks for watching. I hope you had a good weekend. Uh, don't forget, enter the convoy. Convoy entries close later this week, so get your application and join that convoy. Mighty Luke, some bits for all the hard work. Hope everyone in your family as well. Thank you, sir. Thank you for the bits, Mighty Luke. There's the replay. Look at that. So I will be back on Friday, guys. All right?
So I shall see you all on Friday. Hope you all have a terrific week. Much love to all the mod team for all their splendid work this week. <laughs> Thank you, Jens, for the... Uh, Thanks the great stream with a fail message. Thanks, Jens. Yeah, have a great week, guys. I'll be back on Friday. And uh, we'll carry on the goodness then. Take it easy, guys. Have a good one. Love you all. Good night.